Val. Welcome back, Dukes and Dukes Serie A TV. I'm Eddie Ed. But welcome back, YouTube. If you haven't already, subscribe. I see a lot of people in the comments that comment but don't but aren't subscribed. So subscribe. It's free. You know, if you enjoy the content, subscribe. Um, drop a like on this video. Also, comment down below whichever video you would like me to react to next, and send the link with it so I can get straight to it. Um, yeah, we're doing Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, this video is titled, Joe Rogan Reads Message from Doctor About Coronavirus. So, you know, was like right now, I'm, I'm in a hotel right now, as you can see the background. It's a hotel background. Um, it's coronavirus taking people out, but it's not a whole lot of numbers to it. I'm not going to get into the, 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 the stats, but, you know, just stay clean, wash your hands, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, and then now it's social distancing, right? So you stay away from people, large crowds. And all that, so but let's see what uh Joe Rogan found out from this doctor. Um, and let's see if it's something that's that's like opposed to the coronavirus or like that's saying, like, yeah, um, this is gonna be a what a, a big hit, or I don't know. Let's hop straight into it. Eddie TV, let's go. So, uh, we should tell everybody what we learned today. Um, I'm revising my thinking about this virus because of Michael Yo. Michael Yo, Michael Yo caught it. Now, that's an Asian guy, healthy as fuck. He's he's not he's not any high risk group like he's not he doesn't have any pre existing conditions he's in shape and uh, he got it and he got pneumonia too and he said it was a double combination and he thought he was gonna die and he was in the hospital uh, for over a week and four days ago he said he thought he was gonna die that's fucking terrifying because Michael Yo is healthy he's not some eighty year old man. Um, I talked to my friend, uh, Dr. Peter Atia. Uh, he's a physician, and he uh, gave That's me... That's the guy that swam from Mal 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 Maui. Yes, he sw swam all the islands. He's a fucking straight-up savage. So his take, I uh, this is my question to him. I said, this is crazy shit. Uh, what is your take on how so many people experience very few symptoms, but others get wrecked? And he said, I still think most people below 55 sail through it. I've had two patients get it. Uh, shitty cold and loss of a sense of smell and taste, which probably returns soon, Whoa. but still a small fraction of these folks get hurt. I know a doc taking care of a 28-year-old fitness instructor on a ventilator in New York City today. Why? He said maybe some genetic predisposition. We know blood types matters. Uh, a is Whoa. the worst. O is the best based on antibodies. What are they doing out here, man? That is wild. Oh, so now it's like affecting certain types of blood types worse than others. Yo, this this will sound. Bodies. Bam. He said, uh, I, I'm all positive. He Me said, too. but I, I don't think that explains more than some of it. Maybe shit like vaping, he said. Still too soon to tell. Uh, he is a straight up, no nonsense, no bullshit guy. And uh, I listen to everything he says. So, um, when guys like him are concerned, I get concerned. And he's concerned. He's this, this is a weird disease. Another thing that he said, it's weird that it seems that people who spend more time with this get it worse. He's like, it's not like, you know, like, like doctors in hospitals with prolonged exposure get it really bad. Uh, nurses in the hospitals with prolonged exposure seem to get it really bad. Whereas some people get it and they don't get it bad. It's weird. It's a very, very strange disease, according to doctors. And I think we're still trying to figure this out. You know, it's just, wow. It's it's one of those things where everyone's just sort of absorbing the information as it comes in. And you got to be open to adjusting your opinions. And my opinions were, um, I really was concerned with old people. And I was concerned with sick people. Now, yeah, if you get video, it, I'm like, okay, this is not that straightforward. There, there might be some, uh, some other crazy factors here. Different like factors, for some man. people, yeah, like Idris Elba, who looks fantastic, you know, <laughs> fine. But maybe other people are gonna have a real hard time with it, like Michael Yo. Like Michael Yo's not a sickly guy; he's a big, robust guy. That's a spooky one. Yeah, I mean, you, your podcast with the the Osterholm Chicken Little, Chicken Little, that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Chicken Little fucking sitting in the back of my tour bus. I hear this. I'm like, oh, I've had a few cocktails. I had a joint. Let's go to bed. Oh, cool. Who's this guy? Oh, coronavirus. I wouldn't mind hearing a little bit about that. Ooh. Holy. First thing I did, I told Jamie, first thing I did, I sat up in bed and I was Googled that motherfucker. I was like, he wrote a book, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Fuck that guy. That guy I, was, I 
was, I was, I was so freaked out in that fucking podcast. What's crazy about Osterholm is he predicted this shit, um, literally specifically as to where it was going to come from. He was uh, very insightful. I didn't mean yeah. fuck that guy in a bad way. No, he was no, a very no. Whoa, 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 dude. whoa, son. I'm not even going to go back to what he just said. And it was a great podcast, but man, it's, I'll tell you right now, Joe, you said, you said, uh, so guys that are overweight, that drink a lot, that smoke. I was talking to you, you know that, right? By the way, I, I thought you were. <laughs> I, know. I was. I was like, I've heard, I'm talking to you. I didn't want to say it, but I was like, piece together out of all my good friends, who's my one friend who takes care of himself the worst? It's you. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yo, cause could that dude, uh, uh, Berg, I forgot his name, but he's another comedian, another comedian. <clears throat> yeah, this dude be just drinking and, and just be like, I, I see one of his cooking shows, podcast slash cooking show, and yeah, this dude be eating uh, crazy. So yeah, he do need to tighten up and, and get and get his systems in good shape. Yeah, if you don't, <clears throat> you're gonna get trashed up. We had this, uh, this coronavirus thing, man, spreading, you know, taking out some healthy guys, taking out some sick people. Oh, well, 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 yeah, yeah, it's really affecting a lot of, you know, people. But, yeah, social distance. I don't know what to say about this. I'm just trying to stay clean. You know, I'm just trying to uh, not go too many places. Um, yeah, just keep the body in good shape. You know, it's, it's best optimal health as possible. Like op, optimal, optimal nutrition, and you know, promoting optimal health. So that's how I try to do it. And then you know, just keeping, just keeping myself clean. You know, not touching a whole bunch of stuff and all that. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, think in the comments about this. Um, <clears throat> like, comment, and subscribe. Till next episode, Eddie at TV. Wow. Well.